Hi. I want to start off by telling you a story. Back in 1981, I entered my second beauty pageant. I was in the Miss Wichita pageant, and evidently there were several of us girls that they felt like were a little hippie or overweight at that point in time. Um, I think I might have weighed around 130 pounds or something like that. Anyway, I was one of those girls that was told to lose weight. Um, so I did. I lost 20 pounds in three weeks. And I did that by a cycle of binging and fasting. And because that worked and got me into um, the size clothing that, that they felt I needed to be wearing, I think back then it was maybe like a size three or something like that. Um, anyway, I did it. I, I did what I was challenged to do. Um, I ended up winning the talent competition that year and I think I was second runner up. Um, and because that was successful, so to speak, um, it was a habit that I continued on for 10 more years. It wasn't until after my second child was born and I was reading an article in the newspaper that I discovered that what I had been doing, this cycle of binging and fasting, was a form of bulimia. And when I read that, it scared me. I, I had no idea. I was actually learning that word for the first time. Um, anorexia and bulimia, um, you know, those, those were new things back then. So I realized then that with these two small children in, in my care, that I didn't want to get caught up, to stay caught up in that cycle. I didn't want to pass on any unhealthy attachments to food or not eating food. Um, I didn't want to pass that on to my children. I didn't want to model anything unhealthy. So I made a commitment to myself that I was going to stop. It wasn't easy. It, it took a lot of prayer. It took a lot of, um, of gritting my teeth and, and bearing through it. I would, I would, there were days I had to make myself eat. Um, but I made it, and uh, I wish that I would have had some type of support group, but I didn't. I know now that, that there are lots of support groups, especially online. You know, you can find a support group for anything these days. But back then, it, it wasn't possible. Um, the reason I'm doing this video, the reason I'm sharing my personal story is because I have struggled with body image. I've struggled with weight. Um, I've, I've struggled with the way I think and I see myself for years and I just want um, to tell the truth about myself to encourage other people to tell the truth about themselves as well. Um, what I was doing was a form of self-harm. Another form of self-harm that's concerning me right now that I'm hearing a lot about, um, especially from, from young women, is, is cutting and that really concerns me. Any type of self-harm is dangerous spiritually, emotionally, physically. If, if it's unhealthy in any of those forms, it's not something that, that we should stay um, in the habit of doing. So I know that the first step in my recovery was acknowledging that there was a problem. If you want to get on the road to recovery from whatever type of self-harm you are experiencing right now, the very first step is acknowledging that you have a problem. I plan to do more videos about this and, and maybe talk about more steps to overcoming self-harm, but I just really wanted to start with this today. Um, I know that John 832 says, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. I experienced freedom when I learned the truth about my behavior and the damage that it was causing to my body. And I really want to see other people get set free. Take care.